Let's learn some more about sneaky E. Echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same in the middle. Tone, hose, code. What do you hear in the middle of tone, hose, code? I hear an O sound. Do you see the O? It's saying it's long sound. That's because of the sneaky E. Each of these has a sneaky E at the back. That's making the O say its name. So the long O and the sneaky E we cross out. In hose, it has the Z sound, so we give the S a line through it. And then we have a long O with a sneaky E. Code gets a K back. And then the long O make run with the sneaky E. Tone, hose, code. So what is the consonant in tone? Remember, this is the consonant. The consonant in tone is N. What's the consonant in this one between the E and the O? It's the S. And how about this one? It's the D. So remember, this can stand for any consonant. Let's echo some more words. Listen carefully for the sound in the middle. Cube, fuse. What do you hear? Cube, fuse. Do you hear a U sound? I do too. It's a long U. Cube, fuse have the long U sound. Here are some more words. Rule, tube. Do you hear a long U sound in those? It's the OO sound. Rule and tube also have the sneaky E, but they have the OO sound. So U, consonant, sneaky E can say OO or U. So sometimes you have to try both of them to see if you can figure out what the words are. So for cube, we would give it a K back, and then it has its long value and the sneaky E. Fuse has the Z for the S, so we put a line through it. And then it has the macron and cross off the sneaky E. Rule, same thing, macron for the O sound and cross off sneaky E. And same thing for tube, it says O. So after some consonants, it will say U, and after some, it will say U, and your voice usually can tell you which one's which. Let's go through our consonants. S, S, Rose, Z, Rabbit, R, Kite, K, Cat, K, Balloon, B, Monkey, m, mm. zebra, z, pig, p, tent, t, nest, n, mm. lion, ol, dog, d, fish, f, hat, h, goat, g. Wagon, w. Vowels. Okay, is this short or long? Short, apple, a. Ah. Is this short or long? Long, acorn, a. Short or long? Short, inch, i. Short or long? Long, ice, i. Short or long? Short, octopus, ah. How about this one? It's long, overalls, O. How about this one? It's short, elephant, E. How about this one? It's long, equal, E. Long or short? Short, umbrella, U. How about this one? It's long, unicorn, U. And what's the other sound that U says? Ooh. And then this is a sneaky E one. Cake, A, consonant, sneaky E. You say it. Cake, A, consonant, sneaky E. Here are the new ones for today. Hose, O, consonant, sneaky E. 
and cube U consonant sneaky E. Consonant digraphs are two letters that come together and make a consonant sound. Duck, k, thimble, th, feather, th, ring, ng. Our suffixes, we have suffix S that says s, z, and it means more than one or plural. We have suffix ing, which says ing, and it means happening now. Suffix ed can say three different sounds. It can say t, d, or ed, and it means already happened. Friends, where do suffixes go in words? They go at the end. That's why this line is here right here. That shows that there's a word in front of it. Now our vowel digraphs, two letters that come together and make a vowel sound. Sheep, E. Okay, sight words. See if you can say them with me this time. I, they, only, two, one, put, fought, thought, bought, brought, brother, mother, another, other, was, want, move, says, love, live, give, sure, won't, don't, could, should, would, have, wear, any, many, people, done, school. All right, time to do a reader, the bake sale. Go find your book. Pause the video if you don't have your book yet. Hi friends, we're gonna read a story called the bake sale. I see two sneaky E words here, bake and sale. The sneaky E is sneaking up on this A and this A, making them say their names. Do you know what a bake sale is? Bake means to cook things like a cake or cookies or muffins. And a sale is when you, when you buy things. I can see in the picture, it looks like she's mixing things. There's eggs and milk and some other things back here. So she must be making something to eat. Let's find out what happens in the story called The Bake Sale. Okay, you're going to repeat after me. Point your finger. There will be a bake sale, said Miss Hume. Your turn. There will be a bake sale, said Miss Hume. You can bring cakes to sell. You can bring cakes to sell. Let's look at the picture. What does the sign say that the teacher is holding? It says bake sale. Do you think that's a paper that they're going to take home to their families? I think it is. A bake sale is something that they're probably going to use to raise money, maybe for their school or for a trip. So they're going to bring cakes for it. Ah, oh, now she has the paper. Let's see what she's going to do with it. Cake, Kate spoke with mom at home. Kate spoke with mom at home. Can we make a cake? Can we make a cake? I hope so, said mom. I hope so, said mom. So this is mom and this is Kate and she's showing her the paper. So she wants to make a cake and mom says, I hope so. Why do you think mom says, I hope so, instead of yes? 
Hmm, let's find out. Mom said, use those eggs. Mom said, use those eggs. Kate broke one egg. Kate broke one egg. Then Kate broke two more. Then Kate broke two more. Mom doesn't look very happy. She looks a little bit worried. What's happening to the eggs? Are they going in the bowl like they're supposed to? No, they're going on the counter there and that's not gonna make a very good cake. I wonder if they're gonna have enough eggs to make it. Maybe Kate's never made a cake before. Kate tore a hole in a bag. Kate tore a hole in a bag. Kate broke a plate. Kate broke a plate. What a big mess Kate made. What a big mess Kate made. What do you think's in this bag that she ripped a hole in? Maybe sugar or flour? And if it all spills, will they be able to put it in with the eggs to make the cake? Oh, probably not. And then the plate got broken. Mom doesn't look happy. Mom put the cake in to bake. Mom put the cake in to bake. The cake got hot. The cake got hot. Dad came in. Dad came in. I smell smoke, he said. I smell smoke, he said. Is the cake done? Is the cake done? Where do you think dad came from? Yeah, maybe from his work. Why does he smell smoke? Oh, yeah, it looks burned. Kate ate some cake. Kate ate some cake. I will name this stone cake, said Kate. I will name this stone cake, said Kate. I cannot take this to the sale. I cannot take this to the sale. Why did she call it stone cake? It's probably hard. When something's burnt, it's hard. Why doesn't she think she should take it to the sale? Would you want to buy that cake? No, it wouldn't taste good. I wonder what they're gonna do. Point your finger. Kate got a cake from the store. Kate got a cake from the store. Blake's cake is the same as Kate's. Blake's cake is the same as Kate's. Twin cakes, said Miss Hume. Twin cakes, said Miss Hume. The end. So Kate and Blake had the same cake. Why do you think that happened? She had this cake because she burned hers and had to get one from the store to bring. Do you think that might have happened at Blake's house too? Maybe they need to practice more on making cakes. That story was called The Bake Sale. Now make sure you read that to your family and then have them ask you the questions at the back. Then you can bring it back to school for a sticker. Find your worksheet that looks like this. It's for 42. If you need to pause the video while you do that, do that now. 
we're going to do worksheet 42. Write your name. So this one has two sounds that we're learning, hose and cube. We're going to start with hose. All right, hose starts with a H, O, and then the consonant that we're going to use is S, and it's going to say Z, but it's an S, hose. Next one is almost like hose, but it has an M instead of an S. Home. Home. Cone. It's going to be a C because an O follows it. Cone. I like to eat ice cream cones. Next one, we're going to change the C to a B, B to change it to bone. The dog likes to chew on the bone. Next one rhymes with cone and bone. It's Stone. That has a blend at the beginning. St. All right, let's start working on some that have the U consonant sneaky E. First one is cube. That goes with the picture. Cube. What's the long U saying in this word? You, but saying you. Remember, it can say two sounds. It can say you, and it can say ooh. The next one, it's going to say ooh, tube, t tube. Duke. A duke is kind of like a prince, duke. Fume, fumes are smelly things. Fume, like in the word perfume, it says you in that word, cute, it also says you in this word, cute. What did it say in Duke? D ook. It said ooh in Duke. All right, if you need to catch up writing, pause the video now. Let's code some words. Okay, so all of these have sneaky E's. Some have O's and some have U's. So we're going to start with coding those long vowels. We have a long one here. We have a long one here and here and here. And then this one has two vowels that are going to make a sound. There's a short vowel at the beginning and a long vowel at the end. And the second syllable. Okay, got all our vowels coded. Now let's go back and do any uh, consonant digraphs or other things we see. TH. And we're going to cross off the sneaky E. And the TH is actually going to be the. So we're going to put a line through it. Sneaky E here. Sneaky E here. Sneaky E here. And this S is going to say Z. So we're going to put a line through it. This C is going to say K. So it gets a K back. And this has two syllables. So we're going to draw the line in the middle here. And then we have our sneaky E. All these E's get crossed out because they're silent. They don't say anything. They do an important job. They make those vowels say their name, but they're not going to say any sound of their own. Okay, help me read them. Th, O, Z. Oh, I should have coded this one too. Z, the O's, those. 
G O O B globe. That's what this is right here. It's a picture of the Earth that spins around. Mule, mule. A mule is an animal. It's like a donkey and a horse put together. Use, use. Cost, cost, you, costume. All right, let's look at the back. We have some sentences to read and then some lines to draw. Let's go over these words. This is a scarecrow, grass, splinter, and blouse. That one might be hard to remember. Blouse. That's like a fancy shirt. And then I want you to read the words in the box. That's it for today, friends.